tension. Now, what is tension? Uh, when a rope attached to an object is pulling on the object, the rope exerts a force on the object, and the magnitude T of that force is called the tensions in the rope. Okay. Uh, let's see this example. Eh? See this example. There are two men. Okay, pulling uh, a rope. Okay, uh, and at the centers of this rope, there is a spring balance. Okay, there is a spring balance. Okay, we know that spring balance is used to measure uh, force. Eh? Okay, so these two men pulling on this uh, spring balance, eh? and uh, let's say this spring balance is show a force uh, a readings eighty newtons. Okay, eighty newtons. Eh? So this eighty newton is called the tensions, the tensions of the rope. Okay, so that is tensions. Eh? Always remember, tensions eh, is a pulling force. Eh? Tension is a pulling force. Okay, you if you pull something, okay, then uh, you give uh, tensions to that uh, to that object or uh, to that uh, rope or string. Okay, so that is tension. Eh? Okay, you, you pull on a rope, you pull on a strings. Okay, huh? then it, it, it will you 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 give tensions to the rope. Okay. Now, <clears throat> another things that you need to know is the directions of the tension. Eh? Directions of the tension. Now, for this man, the man's on the left hand side. Okay, uh, so he will feel that the tensions pull him to the right. Okay, because tension is always a pulling force. Eh? So there is the tensions on this rope. So for this man, the tension pull him to the right. Okay, but for this man, the tension pull him to the left. Okay, so always remember tension is a pulling force. Eh? Okay, so if this man pull the rope, the rope will give attention. Eh? We give attention to this man, and then he will pull this man to the right. Okay, so uh, so that is what you need to know about tension. Eh? First, you need to know that uh, tension is a pulling force, eh? and you need to know the directions of the tensions. Okay, so that is tension.